first anniversary. And we're more in love than ever. In your face, people who said it wouldn't last a year! I stand by my wedding toast! Whoops! Better clean that off. <laughs> hey, Simpsons don't mean to be a pesto, but I'll be happy to watch your scampy shrimp. Aw, oh, thanks, Flanders. Gotta warn you, he doesn't talk much. Daddy! But first, my lady, let me escort you to heaven, the fancy Swiss chocolate store on level three. Oh, <gasps> Homer, you're the anchor store of my heart. They have to get off and get back on. Sometimes you have to say to hell with rules. <laughs> but somehow our anniversaries didn't get better than that first one on the train. Why are you taking away the train? I'm afraid no one rides it anymore, despite millions in government subsidies. So we're replacing it with something that makes money and sends people to the food court. <laughs> Kids, I've only had three great ideas. Marrying your mother, using a hot dog as a straw, and this romantic train ride anniversary. Sir, I need this train. Dad, do we have to ride like this? Hey, what could be cooler than a choo-choo with lollipops on it? Okay, I've entered my billing address, expiration date, and charged. We're back from baby Beethoven. Well, thanks for watching, Maggie. I just ordered Homer's anniversary gift. As for Homer, I'm getting him a case of his favorite snack cakes, Dolly Madison. This isn't Dolly Madison. It's Sassy Madison. Sassy Madison is a dating site for married people. Kelly was at the end of her wits. Her husband was truly the pits. SassyMadison.com it's not cheating if you don't know the person well. I just put all my personal information on their website. So now you're gonna get hit on by every loser in town. Got a lot of fish wriggling in that net. Maybe I should get married so I can date these guys. Selma, cheating is a sin. As much a sin as not replying to an instant message. Oh Lord, may thy couplings stay forever locked, and may thy dead man switch never be used. Amen. 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 All right, guys, let's get this trade fixed up for Homer's anniversary. <sighs> One more to go and I'm done. Hi, homie. A, a crazy thing happened when I was ordering your anniversary gift. Don't blow the surprise. Pretend you forgot. Uh, anniversary? That coming up? The surprise is safe. The expression on her face will be priceless. One of those cyber smoochers wrote me back. Thanks for your note. You seem way too nice for this site. Why are you here? Good question. I thought I was buying snack cakes. Mm. Don't worry, Mo. When Marge is asleep, I'll sneak back. Oh, good. The strippers are here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that is all coming off. I bet you're wondering why I stayed on the computer until 4 a.m. Listen, I want us to be honest with each other. Uh-oh. If you're honest, you'll have to tell her about the train. What? What train? Um, Marge, I have to go. He's writing me again. Better put a stop to this. Is that him getting the text? I'm sorry, I, I didn't even know you were here. What a crazy coincidence that you buy food, too. Gee, I thought you'd be some kind of creep, but you're actually a perfectly normal looking... Whoa! I know a place where no one in town will see us. I want to be very clear. I'm a happily married woman, going on ten years. The aluminum anniversary. Nothing turns leftovers into swans like aluminum. The only time my wife and I talk is when I apologize. <sighs> Life's an infernal muddle, as Mr. Drake says on Upton Rectory. Ooh, I love that show. <sighs> uh, does, does Homer watch? He says shows set during World War I are too sad. Particularly how everyone's always climbing stairs. You are watching the season finale this week, right? Yeah. I've been working on the railroad. Why are you singing that? Because it's in the public domain. Hello? It's Mo from Mo's Tavern. Lovejoy went to get a hamburger and the whole thing fell apart. I'm getting cooked like a cabbage. Then keep quiet like a cabbage. 
All right, all right, I'll be right there. Is it me, or did this house just get classy? <laughs> Mom, Lisa made me break a lamp. Are you watching it? No, I can't. My wife's watching a reality show about a man who repossesses zoo animals. And we shall be wed by Boxing Day Eve, a.k.a. Christmas. But Lord Upton has forbidden it on the grounds that he once saw me exchange pleasantries with the Egyptian riding master. Drake, Polly, perhaps I was too hasty. <gasps> <gasps> Love should flower. I have something to say. The Dowager Grandmom! I am afraid you cannot marry without a proper ring. <gasps> Take mine. <sighs> I've never felt so flushed after watching public television. Maybe sometime we could watch it in the same room. Show's over! <laughs> Happy anniversary, Mom! Our gift is us! Oh, <laughs> boy! <laughs> Boy. Oh, Marge, I threw my back out. Can you please refill this prescription right away? <sighs> mm. Mm. <laughs> it's working. She's gone. All right, everyone, magically appear. You guys are the best. I just want you to know when I'm holding Marge in my arms tonight, I'll be thinking of all of you. Yeah! Marge, run off with me. Bring your kid. I have three kids. Whoa, you really went all in with this guy, didn't you? Get out of my head. I guess this is goodbye, then. Just thinking of you, Marge. I'm gonna do what I've done at every key point of my life. Suck it in and smile. Mwah! They can fix every marriage. Where is she? Where the hell is Marge Simpson? What's going on here? Ben, Ramona, I want to tell you something I've learned over ten years of marriage. The secret is no secrets. Except good secrets, like this train. <laughs> Look at them. Coochie cooing like that time our connecting flight was delayed and we got drunk and friendly in the Admiral's Club. That was you? I, I mean, it, it, it was wonderful. Honey, just what was going on with you and that guy? Well, I was trying to buy you snack cakes. Oh, baby, that's all I needed to hear. Mm. Now be careful with those video cameras, children. In order to buy them, the school board had to eliminate geography. This globe will never spin again. Tonight on the Discovery Channel, inside Lisa's nose. What will we find? Boogers or Nazi gold? Bart, quit it. Today's the day I asked my girlfriend to take a ride on the matrimony pony. Otto, since when have you had a girlfriend? We met in the summer of love. Woodstock 99. Becky, you're my rose. Will you let me be your thorn? Oh, Otto, of course my answer is... Ooh, wait, 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 this solo is kick-ass! Yes, I will marry you. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, we're cordially invited this Saturday to join Otto and Becky at 742 Evergreen Terrace. That's our address. <laughs> Son, your mother and I don't approve of this marriage, as we have not approved of any part of your life to date. Well, the important thing is you came. We're leaving. So, any words for the bride and groom? Not now, Bart. I'm trying to urinate. You don't seem to be trying very hard. <laughs> Don't tell Otto, but I'm not into heavy metal, and he loves it. 
It refers to our lovemaking as the Headbanger's Ball. No, that's ice! <laughs> You expect me to walk down the aisle to a monster ballad? Otto's just going to have to decide what's more important, his heavy metal or you. Mo, can I give you some shrimp for the road? Head to tail. That way you can fit more. I want some sauce. Thanks. What am I going to do? Hey, why don't you stay with us? Bart, remember that talk we had about you volunteering our house? Remember that talk we had about you not wrecking people's weddings? Changes! Don't want to be an oily man. A man innocently changes his oil when a two-ton car comes crashing down. Who'd have thought you could hold up a car with a wicker basket? Mmm, yummers. Nobody's ever called my gravy yummers before. Mmm, you know it'd be really nuts? A little rosemary. Thanks to our own spice girl, Becky. Well, Mom, you really brought out the mung in these beans. Actually, that was Becky, too. <gasps> hey! Hey, stop kicking my baby! Oh, it's cool. We're just putting some Jackie Chan moves into Bart's video project. Yeah, Mom, I need something great. That's very impressive, but I still don't... Stop that! Hey, hey! We're jamming, Mom. She's painting my music, and I'm playing to her painting. Actually, you could just tie them at the ends. That way, the elastic doesn't wear out. Yes, I hate when things get worn out. Mm. Socks, welcomes. You're going to be dead in a week anyway. Dead in a week? What are you talking about? Look, honey, never let an attractive woman into your house. All they ever do is usurp your family and then kill you. Oh. But first, she's going to seduce your husband. Becky's going to seduce Homer? <sighs> it's an act of violence, not love. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you? I wanted to return your hair dryer. <laughs> oh, and here's your brush. Be right back. Take your time. <laughs> Brakes cut light. Hmm? Ah, it's red! Ah! Look, I know I don't have any proof, but this woman is trying to kill me. <sighs> Fine. Let me tell you what I tell everybody who comes in here. The law is powerless to help you. Come on, Becky, tell us your big news. Well, I wanted to wait for your mother, but okay. I found an apartment, and I'm moving out. Oh, no. And you shall call it... The Ark! <laughs> usurper! 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 Shut up, Becky! There. I finally said it. Take her away, boys. I thought you said the law was powerless. You're powerless to help you, not punish you. Poor Maggie. How many insanity hearings have you been to in your short little life? According to this, you recently went berserk in an ice cream parlor. Yes. Oh, I was just praying to God that you'll find me sane. I see. And this God, is he in this room right now? Oh, yes. He's kind of everywhere. Hmm. Didn't let me finish. Insane. <gasps> Run, Marge! Run! Pump those crazy legs! Police say escaped mental patient Marge Simpson could be anywhere. Shouldn't we be out there trying to find her? Don't worry. She'll show up here sooner or later to finish off Becky. Then we'll have Mommy back. <laughs> Now, Ralphie, what are you going to do if you see Mrs. Simpson? Freeze, you crazy mommy. Shut <laughs> up, boy. But you got to aim a little higher. There you go. That's a kill shot. Hello, Krusty. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, Marge, who's your favorite Native American warrior? Crazy horse. Oh, I really miss Mom. The kids are saying if you say bloody Margie five times, she'll appear. 
But then she gouges your eyes out. Now, let's find out who this Becky really is. so unfair to Becky. Maybe I am insane. I mean, I am talking to myself. Becky, I want to apologize to you, Serper! Why, you cut, go? cut! Mom, it's great to have you back, but you walked right into my shot. Well then, I guess there's a reasonable explanation for everything. Except you cutting my brakes. Oh, about that, uh, when I changed your oil, I may have drained your brake fluid. I was trying to steal your family. I even thought of a good place to bury you. But then I didn't have a shovel, so I went to the hardware store, and they have six different kinds, and I was like, later. And Homer, since you're dressed for it, I got some S&M for ya. Scrubbing and mopping. 